Hey everyone, so here's the topics for today. Can you utilize QGIS to help in flight planning for your next construction job site? In addition to that question, we've got another question. Can chat GPT help us understand what QGIS is all about? I'll talk to you about that in just a moment. All right, everybody, so here we are. We're looking at a screen from QGIS, and on YouTube, I've posted several videos last year about utilizing QGIS with some of my construction flight work that we do. I have since then delved into creating a new series as part of one of my AZ drone classes. We have got a class on autonomous drone flight, and in that class, I've added seven new lectures about utilizing QGIS, which is what you see right up on the screen here. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with QGIS, this is a geographical information system that we can do a lot with, similar to ArcGIS, the professional side. But QGIS is open source and free, so that might be appealing to some people who are growing their small drone businesses. What we're looking at on screen here right now is an actual area that we are doing flight work for, the Solstice Project here in Prescott. And this is an interesting and ongoing build. This is going to be going on for a while, so you'll be seeing more of this on this channel as well, along with other drone information and tech information if you're building your small drone business. Now, we're going to talk about what is QGIS in just a moment, and this is where it leads into ChatGPT. So I've been hearing a lot about it, and today while I was working on another one of the lectures here, I said, I'm going to try ChatGPT. I'm going to ask it to give me a um, YouTube title and see if it gives me a good YouTube title. And I'm going to ask it if it can tell me a little bit about QGIS, which it absolutely did. So let me uh, change screens here. And so we're just swapping the screen around right there. And let's go ahead and pull this up. So I'm just going to get this out of the way. And this is just for me to read along with, but I'm actually going to read you something. I hope I don't do a terrible job of it, but we'll find out. But so number one, I asked um, ChatGPT, I said, <laughs> write me a title for YouTube about QGIS and flight planning. So the title, you've seen it, Using QGIS for Drone Flight Planning and Analysis. Hey, good title. Um, and now let's get into, I asked it to write me one paragraph about QGIS um, and drone flight planning. And here's what it gave me. QGIS, also known as Quantum GIS, is a powerful open source geographic information system software that can be used to plan and analyze drone flights. Awesome so far. Um, this is this is exactly what, what I'd be writing up and probably better. With QGIS, users can import and analyze various types of spatial data, such as aerial imagery and topographical maps to plan safe and efficient drone routes. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. Um, <laughs> the, the software also includes tools for analyzing the data collected by drones, such as digital elevation models and 3D visualization. Additionally, QGIS can be integrated with other drone-related software, such as mission planning and flight control programs, to provide a comprehensive solution for drone flight operations. Overall, QGIS is a valuable tool for professionals in industries such as surveying, agriculture, search and rescue, who rely on drones for data collected, uh, data collection and analysis. I didn't write this. ChatGPT wrote this, but pretty much spot on for what I'm doing with my classes um, online for our autonomous flights is being able to track our um, track our job sites, lay out complex job sites, work with uh, more than just a single real estate visit for some pretty photos of a house. This tool allows us to create flight paths, to create basically our own geo-reference areas of where we should be flying, where we shouldn't when we're working on a project, having nothing to do with controlled airspace or anything, but having to do with regulating um, the drone flight and making sure that we're checking off all the boxes as we're doing our drone jobs for our clients. So. This morning I was sitting working on the latest lecture in this series and um, uh, ChatGPT popped to mind. Um, 
from a conversation with Jody, and I said, you know, I'm going to give this a try. And I have to say, that single paragraph, it feels like ChatGPT has been sitting inside my office as I'm talking about some of these things doing the flight planning. If you are interested, let me change screens here. Over on uh, classes.azdrone.net, it's our teachable site. We do have a class series on autonomous flight apps because you know things are changing right now, and as they're changing, the autonomous flight apps out there are changing as well. So this is one of the classes. We've got 17 classes over on our teachable site, and this is one of the classes. And just to let you know, so I'm not making a pitch or anything, um, the chat GPT was too awesome, and I had to do this video. Um, we do have some free previews on this one. So if you pop by classes.azdrone.net and you pick our autonomous flight apps, you can take a look really quick. So we've got a full intro to the class, seven minutes and 19 seconds long to talk about it. And then you can see all of the different videos we did. But um, so we're talking about uh, drone harmony, measure ground control, PIX 4D. Um, we also talk about um, Map Pilot Pro. That's on a standalone class here. But getting to the flight planning and documentation with QGIS, we do have a couple of free previews for you to check out to see if it'd be something interesting. But once again, this all came about because I was thinking about titling things and what I would do on YouTube, talking about the work that we've been doing with QGIS. And so I decided to ask uh, ChatGPT to give me a hand with it. And that was just an absolutely awesome um, paragraph there. So single paragraph is all they did. And um, I'm still, if you can't tell, I'm smiling here. Uh, I, I'm blown away by the power of the chat GPT. And I'm going to be relooking at some of the titles uh, to some of my videos and seeing if chat GPT can help me out with it. All right, everybody. So for those of you who are interested in QGIS, feel free to leave comments below, ask your questions, pop on by classes, uh, uh, classes.azdrone.net. Check it out, check out the free previews, and maybe this is something that you want in your toolkit, uh, QGIS. And maybe ChatGPT is something you want in your tool chest as well. All right, everyone, we'll see you again in the near future. Have a great week.